This is the new Apple TV 4K, and there's a lot to get excited about it because it's lighter, thinner, faster, double the storage, cheaper. Let me tell you all about it. This is my review. Now, there's a lot of skepticism with an Apple TV in an era that we have smart TVs that already have Apple Music, all of my streaming services, Apple TV Plus, and in an era that we have like Amazon Fire Sticks, which are extremely good for really, really affordable price tags. So it leaves a lot of people thinking that this thing is worthless. I can do everything on my smart TV. And for some people that might be true, but there's a lot of people that are obsessed with the Apple TV. And I'm one of those people, and I'm gonna tell you why in this video. So I'm first going to tell you what's new with this new Apple TV 4K, and then I'm going to tell you why you need an Apple TV in your TV. That rhymed. Am I a rapper now? The new heart of the Apple TV is the A15 Bionic chip, which is the exact chip as the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. Now for me, the Apple TV has by far the best TV experience out there. So for the Apple TV to get an extremely good chip is extremely important because that means that when your TV gets old, it's fine because the heart of this thing will be so powerful that it will just keep working so fluidly throughout the years. And apart from that, you can obviously play a bunch of games. You can throw everything at it and it will handle it perfectly fine. More onto that later. It's now got a more compact design, making it 20% thinner than the previous generation because now it's actually got a thermal design. Did you know? that the previous generation Apple TV actually had a fan, this one is totally fanless. But by far the best new feature on this year's Apple TV is not really a feature. It's kind of the specs and its price tag because the new Apple TV now starts at $129. I'll say that again, $129 and it's double the storage and the baseline is 4K. Why do people need an Apple TV on their living room? And as I said before, the Apple TV is by far the best experience to have on your TV for multiple reasons. It has so many big features and so many small features that make your experience so freaking good. Starting off with the quality. I mean, you've got 4K, HDR, high frame rate, HDR, Dolby Atmos, like the viewing experience simply looks so freaking good. Um, not sponsored, if you buy an Apple TV, make sure to get like a really good HDMI cable, an HDMI cable that is compatible with HDR and Dolby Vision and all of that. Because if you buy this beast, make sure to pair it with a beast cable. I definitely recommend the Belkin one and it's compatible with the Apple TV as you guys can see. So if you guys want the best picture quality, this guy is the way to go. Once again, not sponsored. I'm just, just really like these guys. Now, I love the fact that my TV behaves just like an iPhone. And whenever I pop on my AirPods or my AirPods Max, I get a pop-up on my Apple TV where I can simply press connect and I will automatically be connected. And that's also compatible with spatial audio. So listening to movies with spatial audio on my AirPods or AirPods Max is really a good experience. And if you don't want to bother people at your home with your family, or maybe you just want to listen to Star Wars at really high volume and you don't want to bother anybody, you can totally do that. I often use my AirPods, but the way that I always use my Apple TV is definitely with that stereo HomePod setup. You can easily connect your HomePods, which I gotta say, those two HomePods in stereo sound so freaking loud, so freaking clear. Movies, music, literally sound amazing. Now the whole Apple TV experience wouldn't be the same without the Siri remote, which by the way, it's now got USB-C which is great. I really like how minimal and sleek this aluminum piece design actually is. The new updated design that we got from last year really has been working great for me. I love those separate buttons. Something that not a lot of people know is that the actual outer click pad is actually touchscreen. So if you actually make like this rounded movement, you can actually skip forward or go backward on your movies and series with ease. It's really, really satisfying to do. Now Siri is really useful on the watch, on the iPhone, on the HomePod, but having Siri on your Apple TV is definitely something really useful as well. One of my favorite ways that I use it is whenever I'm watching a show, I can actually tell Siri, Siri, what did he say? And the actual show will go back 15 to 20 seconds before and it will actually turn subtitles on. 
so useful. And you can also ask Siri to find something to watch. Another really good use case is if you have a smart TV and you wanna type in like a TV show, let's say Stranger Things, and you gotta type like S and then T and then R and then A, but then you messed up, you gotta erase it again, you go back to the A, you know what I mean, right? With the Apple TV, it's extremely useful because whenever you're typing, a small pop-up will pop up on your iPhone. Simply slide that, and then you can actually type in your text directly from your iPhone. I mean, I don't know about you, but I find that the most useful thing ever. Something crazy as well is color balancing. Usually people don't really color balance their TV because it's quite complicated and people just don't have time for it, but, if you have the Apple TV, you can color balance your TV directly with your iPhone as well. It's as easy, yes, it's as easy as just grabbing your iPhone and putting it on your Apple TV. Whenever somebody unlocks the door or when somebody rings the doorbell, your Apple TV will actually notify you. So if you're watching TV and somebody opens the door or somebody rings the doorbell, you'll see that on the top right. Tiny little detail, which I love. Also, Apple, why is there no home app? on the Apple TV. I know I can control my scenes with the control center, but why is there no home app on the Apple TV? So apart from all of those awesome features, you also get all of Apple services, including all of your photo library. Something that I love to do whenever I go on my trip and a friend comes over is I can literally put all of my photos from all of my trips and we can just chill at the couch and grab my Siri remote and just, you know, show them all of my images on a big screen. It's just a joy to do. And Apple Fitness Plus transforms your TV to a gym so you can work out with like amazing classes and trainers with your Apple Watch. You get in-session metrics on the top left, which is awesome. Apple Fitness Plus is awesome. You also get things like Apple Music, which is by far one of the best experiences. When friends come over for dinner, I grab my Apple TV and I always play music directly from there. Since the Apple TV is actually connected to all of my HomePods throughout the house. Having those live lyrics and having the music being displayed big, bold on the TV is awesome. You also get things like Apple Arcade, which you get access to a bunch of games. And the coolest thing about Apple Arcade is that you can actually connect a gaming controller, whether it's a PlayStation 5 controller or a Nimbus controller. So you can just battle it out or just play NBA 2K15 right big bold on your Apple TV. And obviously the Apple TV is a great streaming box as well to stream all of your favorite streaming services like Disney Plus, Netflix, HBO, Apple TV Plus, it's all out there. Which by the way, I'm currently watching the playlist on Netflix, extremely good show. It's about the creator of Spotify. Definitely recommend if you love tech and business and currently watching Acapulco on Apple TV Plus. Really fun kind of comedy slash romance. I really didn't think I was gonna like Acapulco so much. Really, really good show. My favorite shows on Apple TV Plus though are The Servant. The Servant is just so freaking good. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have watched and let me know down below some Apple TV recommendations that I should watch. So for those people that ask me the question, should you buy an Apple TV in an era that we have smart TVs? The answer is obvious. If you're in the Apple ecosystem and own Apple Music, you're subscribed to Apple TV Plus, you've got your iCloud photo library, you've got Apple Arcade, you've got Apple TV Plus, you have AirPods, you have HomeKit devices. I mean, the Apple TV is literally a must. I'm not gonna say a goodbye, I'm gonna say a must if you're in the Apple ecosystem. And I'm going to say it one more time, the Apple TV is the best experience for your entertainment at home.